Welcome back to Trailmakers. Today, we are looking at some amazing hovercrafts that I found on the workshop. What is a hovercraft exactly? Well, today it happens to be whatever was in the hovercraft category, according to the Trailmakers workshop. People can really pick whatever category they want, but um, I think mostly hovercrafts involve things that involve the hover pads and are therefore hovering a small distance above the ground, but it may incorporate some flying things that are able to have a stable hover too. Uh, so this is the GX-15 by Billy Billy Fighter. And I take it a little bit of damage on the front there, but I should be fine. Uh, so not a whole lot of controls for this thing. It's just normal WASD. And one of the unique things about- Oh, no! One of the unique things about hovercrafts and trail makers is, is that they're able to go over water as well as land. So one really cool thing I noticed about this one is uh, the paint job on the back of this. Here, let me get out of the shadow, please. Why is there so much shadow right now? The way that these dots are painted on the back there, that's a certain texture that you can choose in the materials, but uh, the way it's painted makes it look like an LED display. It's really cool. But all right, this is just the first hovercraft. Let's see what else we're going to be moving on to. All right, up next, we got this thing. This is the hover car by Calvator and this thing looks this thing looks awesome it looks like a hover car wait a minute does this thing actually have wheels too oh wait hold what is going on why am i shaking so much okay hold on oh oh my goodness oh my good what i just have up and down controls like that okay this is definitely a, a, a different type of hovercraft it just holds its place in the air obviously it's using the hover pad glitch which um you're you can have some weird effects on your uh, mobility in the air with hover pads and on the ground for that matter but look at this i love how the hover pads look like wheels on the sides there even though there's actual wheels in the bottom this thing is fast too all right, we got other controls here, but I think this thing has a, uh, a strafe mode, actually. So if I press Q and E, oh yeah, it's really slow compared to forward and back, but it's there. What does M do? All right, M doesn't seem to be making that much of a difference. Man, this is like some cyberpunk stuff right here. All right, go up, go up, go up. Uh, oh boy. Turn! No, it doesn't turn very sharp. Okay, and it's dead. That's definitely a futuristic build. And of course, we cannot have a hovercraft without seeing a pod racer in here. So by Mech X, this is the SW Pod Racer Anakin. So obviously, this is based off of Anakin's Pod Racer, and it looks amazing. Uh, let's see how it draws. Oh, just basic controls here. All right, so you can see the hover pads are actually below the um, the, the pods. Are, are those the pods, or am I in the pod? I'm not a te I, I'm not a technical uh, pod racer aficionado as far as the terminology for all the individual parts. But oh, look, we also have um, air brakes on the sides of the. I'm just gonna call them pods and hope that I'm right. I'm sure if I'm not right, I'm, everyone's gonna correct me in the comments and then, then you'll know what the real answer is. But there are some air brakes on the sides of the pods there. Scrapman expertly said like he knew what he was talking about. I'm a terrible uh, pod racer, apparently. <laughs> the engines literally fell off. They are no longer attached on either of them. All right, perhaps this is the best. This is the most flat spot on this map, at least. Oh boy, this thing is, <laughs> this thing is wobbly. All right, here we go, up the ramp. We did it! We did it! We went all the way up! <laughs> I was not expecting those results. I thought I was just gonna turn into nothing like the hover car did. All right, next we have the Cube of Control by Magnus on Viger. It says it's a weird flying object that hovers around in the air. I really don't know what to expect with this, but it definitely looked unique amongst all the other hovercrafts. Oh. Well, this is definitely... Oh, oh, okay. So I see we have WASD on the cube and whatever one of those I press is the direction that it ends up moving. This, I mean, it's, it, does, it has a yaw. I don't have any control over the yaw, so it's just doing that automatically. Yeah, like I said, um, the definition of hovercraft. Oh no. Well, that's not, I, I'm stuck in here. But like I said, yeah, the definition of hovercraft, I don't know what defines a hovercraft in this game, but so far they all at least use the hover pads. So at least we got that consistency going. Okay, up next by Prakash, Prakash, uh, a hover Abrams. Floats like a butterfly, stings like a 60 ton tank. Oh yeah, now this is what I'm talking about. Oh, no way, look at the antenna. The antenna are actually floppy. I haven't seen anybody do that with an, to make like a realistic antenna feel yet. I've seen a couple of uses of the uh, the low strength steering bearings. What strength were those on? Those must be on like one. 
0.75, less than one. All right, we even have a strafe mode in this thing to strafe side to side. This is cool. I built a hover tank once. It wasn't based on a real tank. It was just a futuristic. Look at all the controls up here. Holy cow. Ooh. Oh, that's awesome. I love it when they have recoil like that. Oh, and we got the little gun here. Oh, I can aim. That's how we aim the turret. It's got a fully functional turret, looks like. This is so cool. Oh, and then, of course, fully functional machine gun as well. And can I shoot myself? Oh, there goes my turret. All right, what else we got? We got a couple other controls here. <laughs> Why is that even a control? I can lift my seat up and down. All right, I gotta see if I can get this tank on the water. Cause yeah, that, that's one of the main benefits of a hover vehicle over a ground vehicle in Trailmakers is um, you can drive on water. And what more intimidating tank would there be than one that is capable of traversing the sea by itself, unaided. Yes! Now this is advanced warfare right here. We've got water capable hover drift tank. Look at this drifting. All right, and you know what I gotta do. Oh no, I forgot that when you slow down too much, you sink. All right, I'm sorry, I just, I have to, I have to do this at least once. Here we go. Yes! <laughs> All right, so whenever there's a cannon, I just got to see if I can blow myself up somehow. And I think that was an overwhelming success. Well, not overwhelming. If I, I could have blown up more of myself, but I at least damaged myself with it. It was an underwhelming success. Okay, up next, we have the T-47 Airspeeder by Viking Gold. Viking Old. Viking Gold. Can't tell if the G is supposed to also be part of old or is just the end of Viking. So this is the Airspeeder from Star Wars, now in Trailmakers. Wait, wait, how come turn? Whoa, this is the slowest turning. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> am I doing it right? <laughs> All right, oh, I can see where the turning is. We can make, we, hold on, I can make this a little bit better. Speed is on 2.51. All right, let's just crank it up to 10. There we go, now I can turn. No one wants to mess with me now. Okay, I can see why it wasn't all the way at 10. I am definitely more agile, but uh, maybe a little bit too much at times here. Oh boy. Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to be going over uneven terrain like this. Wait, where's the shoot button? No, no. I'm really good at finding those barrels with this thing. Okay, all right, all right, calm down, calm down. Just stick to flat ground here. Sometimes it's easier said than done. Okay, here we go. So for the Star Wars fans out there, uh, <laughs> how accurate is this thing? I'm not super well versed on Star Wars lore and uh, the vehicles that come with it. I don't know how that ended up working in my favor somehow, but I'm just trying to get on the wa- Oh my goodness, we're doing star core. <laughs> All right, can I just get over the water, please, and not sink? There we go. Let's feel- I feel like I'm too high off the water. Why am I- Why do I have so much ground clearance? Or in this case, water clearance, because it's not the ground below me, it's the water below me. All right, this thing's actually pretty fast. Holy cow, oh, I'm, it's almost too fast. I'm trying to go straight right now and it keeps catching the wind and trying to turn me. Oh man, look at that speed. All right, ready? Quick spins. Woo! Okay, up next we have Skektek Hover Bike Deluxe Yellow by Skektek Industries. And, woo, oh, this thing looks high tech. Whoa, okay, what? Oh, it, oh, that's how I go. This thing has, oh, what? Oh, what? This, this might be the coolest one I've seen. Oh, can I, can I make it through here? Ha, okay, sorry, I actually wasn't expecting that. Ah. This thing is so good. I love how it tilts into the turn. Oh no, ooh, that was my bad. I pitched down way faster than I expected to. All right, what does X do? Probably turns everything off, huh? Oh, X just goes up. Left shift goes down. Oh, that's a little bit different than I'm used to. This thing is so good. It looks amazing too. This is the coolest hover bike. Oh, stay in the seat. Oh, somehow managed to even go underwater and submerge itself without breaking. So that's impressive. So yeah, this is definitely like, it, it feels more of like just a flying vehicle to be honest. Super easy to control, very easy to fly. Oh, and that's interesting. It actually has a maximum tilt in either direction. If I'm holding S, it won't tilt back further than that. And then if I hold W, it doesn't tilt forward further than that. I just figured I would just keep rotating, but nope. This thing seems like it's pretty much made for user friendliness. All right, and I'm just gonna crash this thing. I just wanna see it crash. 
Eh. Eh. <laughs> okay, up next by Plus Sebastian is a hover speeder. Now, this, the, the description got me on this one. It says a non-standard type of hover that can go over rough terrain at high speeds, which is unusual for hovercraft, as you've seen with the previous ones. Just watch out for trees and other slim stuff. What exactly? Wait, what? I don't feel like I'm hovering right now. Oh, oh whoa. 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 Whoa, okay. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, this doesn't feel right. This thing is kind of crazy. Whoa. <laughs> what? Hold on. How does this. How exactly are you working? It seems to be following the curve. Look at that. It completely follows the curve of the terrain. I go, watch if I go off this cliff here. Oh, no way. Whoa, did that thing just try to go over that sign? I don't think it works on water. That is insane. Well, I, I de my, uh, my hunch was correct that this is definitely a unique type of hovercraft. It looked kind of normal from the thumbnail, but driving this thing is definitely not normal. Look at this. What if I try to do this now? This is unnatural. This thing should not exist like this. I only see those sensors in the front and they don't look like they're really looking that far down. Oh, I kind of see what's going on, I think. This is insanity. This is like a all-terrain hovercraft except water. I mean, I can go underwater, but oh my goodness, that is just, that is unnatural and amazing. I I looped around the arch. What happened? I gotta, oh my goodness. <laughs> this thing is blowing my mind right now. Do you think, oh, can I, <gasps> what if I can go upside down on the thing? Okay, let me see if I can go slow here. Try to climb up this uh, pillar. Okay, here we go. Oh my, look at this. I'm going around the pillar. I'm trying to go up it though. Here we are, here we are. This is so cool. It literally doesn't even matter what orientation. It can just take you wherever the ground, as long as there's ground underneath you, you're just gonna go. All right, that was actually really mind blowing. That was actually pretty crazy. Okay, up next we have Tag Cargo Hovercraft Version Two by About Four Gamers. All right, this looks like some kind. Of, this looks like some campaign mode style stuff right here. All right, I don't know why I spawned this thing up here, but uh oh, here we go. Let's see what happens. Is this uh ground based? Am I gonna just start? Okay, it seems to just fly as well. Oh, look at my character in there, just standing there like a captain of a pirate ship. I guess if it's a cargo ship, it's kind of just like a futuristic pirate ship, huh? All right, we got a bunch of controls, and I don't know exactly what they all do yet. Oh, no. I don't like that one. I don't know what I did. Ah. Okay, all right, we're back to normal hovering. All right, G. Oh, okay. That opens up the doors. H. Oh, that opens up. Oh, there's cargo. Y. Ah. Just imagine, imagine this is the future of FedEx delivery. Oh no! Or I guess Amazon was trying to have drone delivery, but imagine if it literally just shot it down. Oh, I don't even have to open up the thing to uh, to shoot these down. But yeah, imagine if it just shot down your package like that. Everyone would be complaining. Uh, here's your package. Please enjoy. Yeah, so clearly this is a... Uh, Delivery hovercraft. Oh boy. You don't want to drop the package off too close to the ground, otherwise that happens. Okay, and then up last here, we have the Banshee 3 out of 3 by FaceTube Twit. No idea what to expect out of this one, but it definitely looks cool. Okay, space. Oh, whoa. Whoa, we got suspension stuff going on on the side, which looks really cool. And it just goes. A lot of these hovercrafts use this, uh, these hover pad glitches to just kind of like stay stationary in the air as if it was zero G. Left control is to go down. 
spaces to go up. Man, this thing looks so cool. I wonder how, I, I honestly, uh, I'm, I haven't really built anything that does this. Everything I build that is in the air or like a hovercraft is all very like manually physics-based controls. Oh, I was not so lucky that time like I was with the bike. But uh, these utilize some programming with these hover pad glitches that can keep it ultra stable, but it's not something I've really done that much of a heavy experiment with, so. It's really subtle, but watch though, there's these wedges in here, uh, wedge gang, just like that. Here, let me look from the side, it'll probably be easier to see. There it is. Yeah, so that makes me go up, so then going down is probably the bottom wedge, and then to go forward, this wedge helps me go forward, and this wedge helps me go backward. So as I press W to go forward, and then S to go backward, you can see them work with each other. Okay, so get an understanding about how that's working, all the different directions. Interesting setup for that, that's pretty cool. It's visually appealing too, and I just, I'm just not watching where I'm going. I'm just so distracted by all the cool nuances of these vehicles that I don't even, I'm not even paying attention to the road at all. How can you when you have this thing to look at? Okay, well that's all the hovercrafts I have for you today. Which one was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. If you wanna see more awesome Trailmakers content, you can go ahead and check that out on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrabman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.